But hey, so Hope's dad informed me of how I was outsmarted. So, so get this. We're a little tight, perhaps, with Hope on the whole, like, freedom thing. I don't know. But I just try to be the best parent I know how to be. But uh, it was a subscriber. A subscriber told me this. They're like, look, Woody, you need to be advised. Hope is dating a teenage boy. And as nice as this teenage boy might be, he's still a teenage boy. And that burned into my head. I'm like, right, 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 right. So she dates this guy. His name is Jack. And he's a fantastic guy. Um, he's the guy that every parent would wish their daughter was dating. Having said that, he's still a guy. And I'm no idiot. So uh, another thing a subscriber told me. He's like, Woody, yeah, yeah. You know, our parents let us go to the movies. And they thought it was like a controlled environment, right? Like you would, you drop them off at the movies. You pick them up at the movies. What could possibly go wrong? And then this guy over Twitter is like, Woody... I practically had sex at that movie theater. Oh, wow. And I'm like, oh, wow. So it's not that I don't trust my daughter or that she'd be doing anything like that. But it opened my eyes to the thought that, you know, I, and a teenage version of me, oh, my Lord, I'm not the guy that every parent wishes their daughter was dating. So um, when we first, like, the, the, like, first they weren't allowed to, like, do dates by themselves. And then we stretched it a little bit to, like, where they could go to restaurants and things like that. You know, eh, nothing really could go wrong. And, um, uh, but movies and stuff, that was off limits, right? They weren't going to the movies all, you know, solo. And, um, uh, but if they wanted to go to the movies, the families would go. And, and like our family and their family are good friends. I, we really like his parents and stuff. He's cool. So, um, um, we went and all saw Captain America together. Well, wouldn't you know it? Suddenly Hope has this like driving need to see a movie about two kids that have cancer. Are you guys familiar with this movie? Mm-mm. It's like the number one movie at the box office right now. But like these these two kids who meet in like a cancer recovery group and like I, I, I'm about to ruin it. Spoilers. Go ahead. 15 seconds if you need to. But um, during the movie, one of them dies, but he's the one that wasn't supposed to die. The other one was terminal. So, you know, that one dies, too. And uh, this is the movie they want to see. Jack doesn't want to see it, but whatever. He's a teenage boy. He'll go see anything she, she desires. Um I didn't want to go. His parents didn't want to go. Suddenly, this, these kids have the freedom to go see movies without us. And it's like, son of a bitch. I, I didn't realize <laughs> it until like two weeks later that I had been outsmarted. You know, like, dad, I really want to go to the see the movies. The only thing we're interested in is this frick on like children, teenagers with cancer. <laughs> oh the God. bucket list for kids, right? It's like the kid's bucket list. It's I, like their version of that. I could be. I don't know. I haven't seen I think it's a romantic comedy or something about dying children. And uh, I'm like, good oh. rom com material. Good rom com material. <laughs> wow. Perfect. <laughs> Starring Rob Schneider, maybe? Is he, does he make an appearance? So, so yeah. Now that I, Hope got her ability to go see movies by picking a movie like, like the, my, now does this set the precedent that's the question does this now is it like a supreme court decision where now moving forward now she's like well you know you let it happen this one time now we want to go see i don't know can you pull back on that can you be like oh wait a minute you want to see the tom cruise movie suddenly you're not allowed to go without me <laughs> sorry I, I think you know you need to assert your dominance you're the dad you do whatever you want of course you can roll that back yeah, I like when she becomes people. an independent, that be, that gets harder. It's I would rough, assume. I, so I think of myself as a little hipper than the average dad, right? Like most parents exist in a world filled with other parents, you know, and it is all these people. It's been 20 years since they're 25 years since they were trying this crap you know, against their parents. They're a little rusty at this game, whereas the kids are sharp. But me, you know, one, I have you guys like I'm talking to my subscribers and people watching this right now, feeding me tips. And the other is, you know, I just exist in a world that has more kids in it than most parents do, you know, whether it be from the Minecraft server or Call of Duty or the YouTube channel or whatever. Um, it, it it keeps you a little sharp, you know, on what kids are doing and thinking and and etc. But uh, on this one, I was uh, I got burnt. She she picked the cancer movie and she worked me. Yeah, that's a, that. I could see that. That's a horrible movie though. I don't know why anyone would want anyone would want to see that. <laughs> well, maybe you'd want to see it because it's an hour and a half to gain your freedom. <laughs> I, there's better they, stuff they, at they the box office. In. They but walk it, in like the front and then just walk right out the back door to go to like the park or something. But, and... wait, what Kyle said, there's better stuff at the box office. I don't know if he got the technique. The point was to pick something the parents both would pass on. 
Oh. I see you. You'd have fell for it too. Yeah. You'd have been, yeah. Yeah, and then you don't even have to go to it because it's not like anybody checks your ticket after you pass that first guy. You can go to anything. True. Mm-hmm. If it starts at the right time. Yeah, yeah. But that that was the whole technique. Pick a movie. And, and uh, you know, Jack's parents were like, what? No, I'm not going to that shit. And, and Jackie and I were like, what? No, I'm not going to that shit. And suddenly the kids go to the movies on Chaperone. They're how old? 15 going on 16? Uh, he's 15. She'll be 15 in, uh, well, for us in, hold on, four days, but for the people watching, three days. Okay. Yeah, this is that that you can go back on the whole going to see movies alone thing. I think once really? she gets her driver's license, yeah, once she gets her driver's license and she's an independent, she's not technically an adult, but you look like a real ass if you're like, yeah, I, I got right. you the license and I pay for your insurance and you have a car, but still, you know. <laughs> you, you, congrats on your license. You'll be driving me to the movies now. Right, but when you're when you're given the rides. What you say it's goes tough for me, man, because by the time I was 12, I was allowed to like go to the boardwalk by myself, stay out till mm-hmm. 11 p.m. Like I had uh, a lot more freedom than most 12 year olds have, you know, they, like movies on chaperoned I could do fucking anything on chaperoned, <laughs> you know, like yeah. I, I was drinking and shit like I, I was <laughs> <laughs> I getting can't... hit on by guys in the arcade with your short shorts. And going to yeah, see that. yeah. Well, you system. know, when you got it, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i was i was like legit doing crazy stuff i mean I, I, when i was 12 years old i surfed my first hurricane hurricane gloria damn that's yeah. that's some point break stuff right there right so and then hope can't go to the movies <sighs> you know don't ever tell her does she watch the show don't ever <laughs> tell her those kinds of stories <laughs> If anybody asked, it was like living in a concentration camp when you were her Right, age. right. Was, no, no, that's, no, no. that's all you had. Yes, yes. You're so lucky. You should have seen it. Like I had to wear a chastity belt. You didn't. Those things were real. And, you know, Ooh. show her Robin Hood men and ties like that. Was I a wore real a chastity wear belt. One. Not developing muscles till I was like 16 or 17. That was my chastity <laughs> belt. <laughs> no, I say it completely. Like, roll back and say, all right, that was the one. But yes. now we're we're putting the foot down. You got a taste. Now you get to wait a whole year. Right. Reports have come back from the theater that he put his arm around you. We can't have that shit, and I'll be a chaperoning from now on. Mm -hmm. That had to have happened. (laughs) No, you tell her, look, I've got movie theater money, so I will go bribe the guy that's making $7.50 an hour. (laughs) I'll give him a 50, and he'll keep an eye on you the whole time. You can, you know, it, it, so whenever she wants to go on a date, it'll cost you 20, 50 bucks, but you give the guy 50 and he goes, 